Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. Welcome back to the Month of Machine 2012 on the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to look at how you can quantize your beats inside of Machine. By default, the beats that you will be recording into Machine will not be quantized. If you want to quantize your beats, you're going to have to do them after the fact. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Right now, I'm going to record a little pattern. It's just going to be with a kick drum. And you can see that those particular beats are not lined up with the grid. They're just placed down as I played them. Now, there are two ways that you can quantize beats inside a machine. And it's really two options of how much quantization you want to apply. You can either choose to do 50% quantization or 100% quantization. So let's say you want to go 50%. So we're going to go 50% of the way to snap into the grid. You can simply hold down shift and then press pad 6. That will quantize 50%. Now this will give you more of a human feel if you're adding in drums. But if you want to go all the way and snap them to the grid, you can simply press shift and then pad 5. And you can see that that snaps those beats to the grid. So that is how you can quantize sounds after you record them. But what about if you want to automatically quantize your sounds while you're playing or recording? Well, for that, we need to go into the preferences. So we're going to go to our menu, go File, Preferences. And here you want to make sure that you are on the Defaults tab. Underneath the input section, we have the option for quantize. By default, it will be set to none. This setting is just like I showed you where machine doesn't apply any quantization to the beats that you're playing or recording. But let's take a look at the other options that we have. So we click on the drop down menu and you can see that we have two more options, record and play record. If you have record selected, Machine will quantize sounds, but only while recording is active. Finally, if you want to always quantize your sounds, you can select record play. And this will make sure that every single beat or pattern that you add will always be quantized. So let's take a look at the difference of how machine works with the play record mode. Go play record, select OK. Now we're going to erase this pattern that we have, and I'm going to record a new one, and you'll see that the beats are all lined up to the grid. You can see that as I recorded the beats, they lined up to the grid exactly, and that's because I selected the record play option in the preferences. So this has been an overview of how you can use quantization inside of Native Instruments Machine using the hardware controller to add beats and patterns. Stay tuned for our next video on May 25th, where we take a look at how you can add effects to your Native Instruments Machine sounds, groups, and projects. You can follow the Month of Machine 2012 on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And don't forget to visit the DJPodcast.com for more reviews, news, and how-tos.